Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, I'm just kind of loading up YouTube at the same time uh, because I can see certain people in my chat complaining that they're not moderators. <laughs> I didn't take anybody's spanner off them. Um, I'm just sorting that out now. <laughs> I didn't steal anybody's spanner. I don't know why this is so red. Why am I so red? Um, I think I've got like, you know, that like night light thing on. Computer. But hello, everybody. Um, there we go. That's not so big now. I assume that's changed for you. Um, yeah, and also because I open, I do this in StreamYard. I only have the StreamYard chat open usually, um, so I don't usually have um, the YouTube chat open. So I don't usually see who is spanners and who isn't spanners. Uh, there we go, we're just gonna go through a couple and then we will crack on. Um, oh, I don't even know, that'll do, that'll do. Um, hello everybody, sorry. Um, if you've just come from Ant's chat, hello. Um, I know that there's definitely one person who won't be joining us here <laughs> because you know, I'm a clothing reseller, so I don't think you'd appreciate that. Um, so let's say hello, a couple of hellos. Um, hi, Adam, uh, Leanne. Um, I was going to just call you Monumental and didn't even forget your name. <laughs> uh, hi, Andrew, Georgina, Ads, Tracy, Stu, uh, Patty, Jasmine, a couple of pickers, Laura, um, Dak. Why are people saying that they're first when they're like halfway down the chat? But hello. Um, who else have we got in? Tommy, hello. NH, hello. Um, oh, oh, okay. This is what I do the YouTube chat. It jumps a lot. Um, hi, Lee, Nick, Ash, Ian. Ian, you've got a new picture. You've actually got a picture. Hi, Becca. Hi, Greg. Okay. Um, I'm just a quick read of the chat. Because <laughs> I feel like something's going on already. Um, I didn't make you lose you. Oh, I promise. It was Tracy the silk person? That might have been it. I haven't seen her in my chat for a while. That might have been it. Um, you've got no. You've got monetization, so we don't hear the first few seconds of your intro. That's okay then, because I was just waffling anyway. Um, oh God, what's going on? She's changed since she's got engaged. Can't remember everyone. Anyone's name? Jesus, Louise, your beauty reminds me of this angelic person. I saw in a spin. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Ads. Ads has super chatted to me. Thank you very much. Didn't know you collect pop vinyl. I don't collect them as such. Um, these two I actually bought for somebody and then stopped talking to them. <laughs> so I claimed them for myself. Um, so because I had these two, somebody then bought me this one the cinderella one here um as a birthday present when i was working and then these two i've seen i think somebody bought me this is one of them actually i think chris bought me sora um he saw it in game and then i bought myself mickey so i don't collect them on purpose but the kingdom hearts ones i'll collect if i do see them out and about so okay um <laughs> tracy doesn't like silk that's funny. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Rob is actually somebody who I used to work with. Um, and he, uh, I've met up with him twice now and told him that I do YouTube. And both times he doesn't remember that I've told him. So everyone say hello to Rob. Make him feel awkward. Okay. Um, Adam said, uh, Coda Flip had really impressed with your post on Kelsey's Facebook group at Legendary Photos. Yeah, if you're not part of my Facebook group, it's called Clothing with KLC um, on Facebook, obviously. Um, Lee has actually put some really good information into that group about photos and how he photographs, um, especially specifically shoes, boots and things like that. And I think he's sort of put into the group to say, if you, anybody wants me to explain it a little bit more, just let me know. So, um, yeah, so head on over there if you want to know a bit more about how he photographs. And his photographs are just oh, they're just amazing. Mine are just like, eh. <laughs> his are just like, woo, 
They are absolutely amazing. Um, what have you done with the Funko Pop? I bought you in Ipswich. You didn't buy me a Funko Pop in Ipswich. You bought a load of Funko Pops in Ipswich. You didn't buy me any. Um, okay, so I'm just waiting for that candle to fall over and set fire to the Pop collection. No, it's, it's quite a while by the way, to me, to be fair. Because I do have my other ooh, other ones over here. These are like the um, they're like other type, type of Funko ones, but they're like little little mini Zorid and Goofy ones. So they're quite cool. Anyway, um, anyway, so hi Rob. This is your moment to share as many embarrassing stories. You know what? Actually, I didn't have, I didn't actually work with Rob. He left. I took his position. Then I left and he took back his position that I left him. So, <laughs> um, so we actually didn't work together. OK, hello, hello, hello. Hi, tea cakes. Right. OK, so, yes, I bought a fair bit. I was back to normal again this week. Um, my dad picked the place last week uh, because that's where he needed to go. Um, and it was rubbish. As if you were here last week, you would know that because I had three items from last week. This time I have. A lot more stuff. Uh, haul. Yes, Georgina, there, were, there is now a haul. My carpet's on here as well. Not my carpet, that'd be a bit weird. I'll look. Okay, so I'm literally just going to flick through them. This is what I bought, this is what I bought, this is what I bought. So if you have any questions, please do write the red light question so I can actually see. Otherwise, I might miss your question. <laughs> That's too much usage of the word position in one sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. First item is this one. I literally, there's no order to this. I've just plumped them. Um, they're plumped on my back seat and then I just rummaged through them while I was putting them in my spreadsheet earlier. Um, this one here, Ted Baker dress, um, size three, which is a size 12. Um, I was a bit confused with this one because the label initially said 15 pound when it focuses. Come okay, on. 15 pound, then down to 650. And then it has that thing there that says marked and went down to five pound. So I stood there for ages looking at it, figuring out if it's marked or not. And there's nothing wrong with it. But this is like a little belt that goes around it. Um, I'm not that. I miss what you said when I joined, had to go. Uh, I have none though, Louise is the best. Let's see, let's see. Bye, Rob. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I bought that for five pound, Ted Baker dress. And then uh, this coat bought from the same shop, I think. Yeah, bought from the same shop, five pound. Um, I absolutely love picking up sheepskin coats. They always do well. Model it, model what? That dress, that isn't happening. I've, I've got clothes on. I can model this for you though. <laughs> Woo, look at that quality. This is like, I don't know how people wear these. You know what, this says on the label, and it's an 18. Look at this. It says it's an 18. That's not an 18. I'm not an 18. I mean, it's a bit big for me, like, but I don't know. Yeah. Feels a bit dirty. Feels weird. But yeah, genuine sheepskin picks it up for a fiver. I can usually do. Oh, it's in the pocket. Oh, look. In the pocket. It's actually got. How to take care of your sheepskin coat. How fancy is that? Um, but yeah, I usually do quite well with sheepskin coats, usually about 40, 50 pounds, something like that. Um, nothing fancy, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. Whew. I kind of want that mess, massive bear. Can't justify buying it just for myself, though. Yeah, it, it's still there, it's still not clean. <laughs> Proper tell <boy. laughs> I'm making no comment. Granny chic, exactly, exactly. Question: Do you wash your clothes before listing them? Asking for a friend? Uh, no, no, I don't. Unless it needs washing, then I do wash it. If it needs washing and you can see it needs washing, if it smells really musty or if it's physically dirty, then I do wash it. But if it's just standard, then no, I don't. Um, then I bought a Karen Millen coat. Um, Karen Millen coat, size 12. Um, I bought that for £10. Um, I feel like I need to model this one now. I wash them, I don't wash them. Exactly. 
I wash what I need to wash. But oh, personal clothes, yeah, obviously. Oh, I like this coat. This is a nice coat. So just knee length. Look at that. It's quite comfy, actually. You know, I feel like I want to keep this for myself. <laughs> it's actually eBay policy that clothes must be laundered prior to sale. Actually, true story. I, I am aware of that, which is why I don't tend to mention it. But nobody actually does it. Um, yeah, Karen Millen coat. Um, I don't know if it's made up of anything fancy. I think it says Maine at 75% Lambsville. Ew, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that when it focuses. Come on. Bloody thing. See, this is why I don't have autofocus. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, it was there. But yeah, 75% lamb's wool. Just take my word for it. <laughs> and then 20% polymade and 7% angora wool. That doesn't equal 100%. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's some good wool in here. <laughs> but yeah, paid a tenner for that. I don't know how much to list it for, maybe. I don't know actually. I don't know what Karen Millen coat goes for. Um I don't know. I didn't do any research, just picked it up because I liked it and it was a tenner. <laughs> so, um keep. And uh, that's nice on you. Thank you. Uh, I can't I can't just try to keep it though because it's it, it, would make, it would make me lots of money so uh love a good coat pick up good margins yeah i love coats um i pick them up all year round i just oh. uh andrew it does not stay how long before the sale have the clothes been washed yeah, exactly yeah, exactly um yeah the wool isn't adding up yeah exactly it just kind of didn't make sense did it pat hi pat by the way um Karen Millen does wear here. Wasn't actually being serious. No, it does so say it somewhere, doesn't it? Or it, or maybe it used to, because a lot of people used to put in, have to put in their description to say um oops, uh to say that it's been washed or something. God just don't do it. Uh does it ring like pe, 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 does it ring like oh my god. Uh yeah, what about new with tanks and take off and all that exactly? exactly uh does a ring light make pictures look a lot better than using a lamp and where do you position it did you comment on my video yesterday laura um i did see it i just hadn't replied to it sorry um i will reply to it still anyway uh it's not that it's so much that it looks a lot better than using a lamp but it's the color of the light so the color of the light that's in here is a cool white so it's like a proper white white rather than like an orangey warm light so with my ring light, it has a cool white um, colour to it. So when it's showing, it's pure white rather than like a um, rather than an orangey one. So and where do I position it? I used to position it because this was in my old house. So I used to say if it was against my wall here, it would be on the top of this cabinet here. So it would sort of not too harsh, and it kind of give a soft shadow behind it. Um, okay. Um, next coat, I don't know what size, this is a size 14, a bit bigger for me, but let's try it on because that's a lot of what I'm doing today. Uh, a mint velvet coat, uh, piece of for 4 99 actually, from an age UK. Um, usually the lights off price item is quite high. Um, just this, I hope you appreciate my cat socks, by the way. Let's put that up a little bit. I don't know, that one doesn't suit me so much, does it? That's not so good. There we go. I'm just going to tie that because there we go. Ta da! There you go. I don't know why I'm modelling these things today. I'm not modelling anything else. I refuse to take any clothes off. <laughs> that is already on me. Um, so, yeah, 4 99 again, mint velvet coat. I sold a little while ago. I think I sold for like 30, 40 quid or something like that. Um, so, I can't quite remember. Uh, hi Jennifer, I did just see a comment, smashed it today, I landed myself a vintage Burberry trench coat for a tenner, that's absolutely awesome, missing the belt though, but still, you know, somebody still be happy with that. Um, whatever you use, what matching Kelvin, you use 550 
55,000k, 5,500k, oh my God, whatever. On every bulb I buy in the house, it's all uniform. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's all about the temperature of the light. Um, I should pick up coats more often, see if I had to carry them around with me. Yeah, well, what I did today is because my car wasn't parked so far away, every time I picked up a coat, I um, went back to my car. But also that um, sheepskin coat, they put it into a bag and I was like, can I just pick this up later? So I carried on going around and then picked it up on my way back to the car. So if it's a big, heavy coat or you've bought several coats from one place, um, usually they're happy to um, to leave your stuff behind. So um, actually, do have a couple more coats, but we'll get to them in a bit. I got a Hugo Boss shirt, two pound. Um, they originally had it listed up for ten pound. Dropped it down to five. Dropped it down to two. Um, just a basic Hugo Boss shirt, nothing fancy. Um, just a check shirt. Don't know what size it is. Size large. So not, I don't do massively well with men's shirts, to be honest. Some do quite well. Some just don't seem to go very well. I think I need to get myself a male mannequin um, because all I do with these is just lay them flat on the floor. If a male mannequin might be able to show it better. Uh, the next shirt is a Ted Baker shirt, size five, which is an XL. Um, again, got that for two pound. Was originally five pound forty nine. Then dropped down to two pound seventy four. <laughs> Picked up for two pound. I'm happy to model shirts for you. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, do you have certain men's clothing that sells well? Um, jeans sell quite well for me. Um, and that's probably about it. I don't have, I mean, this whole thing here is women's. And then I think six out of eight boxes on this thing here are men's. So um, I don't sell that many men's stuff, to be honest. But um, what else? Jumpers do quite well, I think, actually. Um, and yeah, but mostly jeans. Jeans do quite well, to be fair. So yeah, long sleeve, Ted Baker shirt, two pound. No idea how I'm going to get how much I'm going to get for it. <laughs> if you watch my videos, then you know I have no idea how much I'm going to get for it until I just decide that I'm going to whack a price onto the thing. Um, then I got these. I don't know why I picked them up really, but um, just some Nike running shorts. Um, yeah, I feel like actually Chris might have these. <laughs> um, but it's like, it says knife running on the thing as well. It's dry fit one, um, size small, picked them up for £1.50. Um, but even if I got like, I don't know. Because I, I think they're quite expensive, aren't they? I don't know. Um, but I probably might put them up for about 15 quid or something. On. I don't know. Um, then I got this coat. I was really, really happy with this coat. Um, it's a Heli Hansen coat. Um, I picked it up for five ninety nine. Uh, was eleven ninety nine initially. Uh, it's a size large, but um, it's I don't even know how to explain it. But it's like I think it says here it's a Tech Ten. I don't know what that means. I don't know if, some, if anybody knows anything about that. But it's kind of like got like breathable bits here. It's not actually a pocket, but it's just like a breathable thing. Um, I think I've got to go model this one. I need some padded shorts, but so small is inadequate. I'm sorry. Oh, that's huge. That is a large. Um, but yeah, it's like a proper nice um, waterproof kind of hiking. It's very crunchy. Like, makes a lot of noise. Uh, but yeah, Heli Hansen's done well for me in the past. Um, I've sold a packable one, I think I sold for about 30 odd quid. It's sailing gear. Is this one a sailing one though? Because it doesn't feel, it's not, it doesn't feel waterproofy, if that makes sense. It kind of feels like cottony waterproof, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's got like a little pouch for your phone, a little headphone port. I love it when it does that. Um, maximum performance in extreme conditions. Oh yeah, waterproof rating, total protection, breathability rating very high, fully taped seams. There you go. There you go. Sorted. There is something in the arm. <laughs> Don't even know. Even know there's a pocket in the arm. Ooh, 
<laughs> Where are we going? Ski pass. Look at that. A nice little ski pass. <laughs> Back in 2017. Look at that. Doesn't say how much they paid for it there. Interesting. A little ski pass. Glad that we found that. Because otherwise, people, you know, people like, if you do leave something in your pocket and somebody goes, oh, you've left some dirty crap in my pocket. <sighs> anyway, probably windproof though. Yeah, it does. It seems, apparently, it's waterproof. It just doesn't feel like that kind of material, but apparently, it is. Um, then I went into a two pound shop where everything, literally, everything was two pound. Um, so I picked up a coat, a planet coat. Um, don't know what size it is. It is a size 16. Uh, wool polymade. Oh, cashmere. Cashmere for two pound. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Ugh. Coat. Because this is what I do now. Style some coats. That feels like it fits me, but it's a size 16. Don't know. It's purple my colour. Do you sell Planet Well? I've never picked it up. Um, it doesn't go too badly, to be honest. Um, but it's not like it's not a massive, like super quick seller, but it's kind of just like a standard thing. Um, some standard dresses. It's not that bad, really. It depends. I think the fancier dresses go quite well, but the standard boring dresses um, are just not that great. Oh, dear. Heli stuff is expensive, £50. Not brand new, is it? It's way more than that, isn't it? But you're saying for me to sell it at £50. Uh, what's the best thing you found in a thrifted pocket? I found an 18 karat gold wedding ring. My God, what did you do with that afterwards? The best thing I found is a a, a mint. <laughs> That's it. That's all I found. Um, purple is a great colour. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Lainey. Um, two pound shop again. I've got this Jacques Vert um, blazer. Ooh. Ooh. Need to model your clothes for Depop, Louise. Oh my god. Uh, in, you would do well. Poshmark as well if they come to the UK. I can't be bothered. Really can't be bothered to, to model them because I have to keep getting changed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't even know what size this is. I've just put it on. Oh, the size 16. Um, I quite like this though. Right, it's annoying though because it's missing a button. It's got a hole here, but no button. So it's a bit annoying. But um, I liked this though. Look, how funky is that? So it's like you'd roll up the sleeves. And then, and then, look at this. You'd like throw up your collar. <laughs> Because that's what cool people do. They throw up their collar. And then you could be like matching your collar to your cuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's like I saw it, but I thought, who would ever do that? Who would throw up their collar like that? I don't know. I quite like it now. <laughs> Uh, any tips to avoid buying fakes? Impossible to know the anti count to fit measures of all brands, especially ones that's new to you. So any general tips? No general tips other than, like, until you've bought a fake, you then find out the fakes, if that makes sense. Um, like, I, when I look at Diesel jeans and when I look at Tommy Hilfiger shirts and stuff like that, I kind of just know what to look out for now when I go round. Um, but it's just research. Um, general general tips with clothing if it looks dodgy obviously uh, if the stitching looks a bit funny um, like I say if it's not if it's just rough stitching or if it hasn't lined up properly um, or it's just that it just looks bad quality sometimes it looks so genuine and you fully believe that it's genuine but there's certain things um, that's not so genuine and the care label as well um, sometimes in a um, in a fake one, the care label just is a simple like made in China kind of thing. Where like Tommy Hilfiger, for example, their care labels are usually like a blue label. Um, it has a lot more information about the Tommy Hilfiger website and obviously what's in them and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, hope that makes sense. But yeah, it's quite hard to do like a general 
kind of thing. You've just got to, unfortunately, it's one of them, you know, learn from your mistakes kind of thing. You can, you know, you can read up about them, that might help, but until you've actually seen it in real life, you don't really know what you're looking for. Um, only one size applies with every property, the rest wouldn't do them justice. Um, what's that for? Yeah. Is that for the, um, for modelling it yourself? Because that's the thing for me, it's like if I bought anything less than a, less than a 12 really, I don't think I'd, I don't think it'd look right. <laughs> it looks so much nicer on the mannequin. Um, it's work, but those people are killing it on Instagram and those apps. If I would, I could, but I could imagine, couldn't imagine the customer base. I'd buy your clothes, Tommy. <laughs> uh i ask her to model the dress and she models everything but no i'm not modeling any dresses <laughs> definitely not definitely not um georgina i'm guessing they buy around their size which is limited i guess or they only model that size and just normal rest yeah i mean the thing is it's like when i buy a oh, this is really warm when i buy a um a bigger dress for a mannequin so a mannequin is probably about a size eight to ten roughly um i'm going to assume from all the stuff i've put on it um so obviously i then pinch them with um pegs just standard like clothing pegs so just pinch them at the back um to sort of pull in the top so it sort of goes around the curves a bit more um so it's like if i was to do that with myself and model it myself i probably would do something like that or i know i've seen a few people put something on and then grab it by the back of their hand and grab it like that and then they'll model it like that so it's not so baggy if that makes sense so yeah there you go um hi kids i always go for 18 or every true story um hi lex nice to see you in here um anyone else ever forgot to pack the board when something a board game no <laughs> definitely not uh fakes go to a genuine re retailer to see what the real ones look like and feel like it really helps once you've seen the genuine article yeah that sounds good it's a really good idea Definitely. Um, so two pound shops still um, picked up just a few general bread and butter kind of items. Dorothy Perkins dress, size eight. I'm not trying this on, won't bloody fit me anywhere. But size eight, um, simple, obviously two pound. Um, next tailoring dress, size 16. Um, again, just really basic kind of stuff, but for picking it up for two pound, I could probably get about 15 quid for that, something like that. So, you know, it's not too bad. Um, and it's just one of them nice added extra things. Um, this one is two Danes. Um, I've never picked up this before. I feel like I've heard of this brand before. Um, it's a size medium. And, uh, and I did do some research before I picked it up, even though it was only two pound. Um, I did do some research before I picked it up. So, um, but yeah, it's got pockets on the sides, um, which is quite cool. Thank God there's nothing in there. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like a weird draped thing on the sides. It kind of like goes longer on the sides. That's really bad, isn't it? I think if I, if I should I even try and let's try it on. Let's try it on. <laughs> Cause this looks like it would fit me more than, you know, an actual fitted dress. Look at that, there you go, fancy. I don't like it, I think it's horrible. But yeah, so you got pockets, I love pockets. So, there you go. Um, uh, yeah, maybe, but I wouldn't want it all modelled so my photos all look the same. Just to find different size friends, I suppose. <laughs> Right, I need a, a size 12 today, please. Thank you. Need a size 8 today, please. Thank you. Um, any camera experts in the chat? Are there any camera experts in the chat? Um, you preferred? Yeah, not you, not that one. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit ugly, isn't it? To be fair. Um, this is a bit awkward. Woo! Woo! My God. I don't know what I've done here now. I preferred the red dress. Well, I'm sorry. It's not, is it my size? It's my size, but I'm not trying to go. Um, hanky hem. Let's see, hanky hem. I was going to say like an asymmetrical hem. I don't even know if that's right. Um, hair is looking gorgeous. Thank you very much, Lex. I did put something on my Instagram earlier to say that my hair doesn't always look like this. <laughs> it usually looks in absolute state, especially today when I 
uh, got attacked by the uh, by the rainstorm. Um, another two pound one, Dorothy Perkins tailored dress. Oh my god! See, it focuses on something when I don't want it to. Um, gonna fall over everything. It's a size fourteen, just a standard tailored dress with these little buttony things on it. Oh, nothing fancy there. Um, this two or TU dress, however you want to pronounce it, it's a size 10. Um, I don't tend to pick up this brand very often. This is the brand that uh, Sainsbury's sell. Um, it's a really basic shift dress with this really funky uh, pattern on it. But I just thought it was quite cute. So, should I try it on? <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why this... Uh, to be fair, I've gained an extra 10, <laughs> extra 10 people in this chat. Is it just going to fit on my head like that? Well, it will. Ooh, I still look the same. Oh dear, that doesn't go over my jeans very well, does it? Oh, look, and I've put it on backwards. How fantastic is that? So, yeah, I don't like it. It feels a bit weird. Um, oh, yeah. Tea with good prints go well. I did sell um so look how how i've managed that putting on my clothes backwards <laughs> quality stream this is um normally go for the ragged lion look hair wise it yeah, usually if i'm not on a stream or anything like that if nobody needs to see me my hair's usually scrapped up in a bun um it's too much to deal with to be honest but new series dressing with louise <laughs> definitely not um i'm through a head backwards type um hi david hello everybody good evening hello louise sorry i'm late um i just got home from an auction got two cameras and a projector that need a power lead i was looking at three other lots of electronics but all the reason has been too high so you can get anything david oh, that's a bit that's a bit of a shame um but i hope you manage to get another one soon definitely um yes i've seen her hair when she can't be bothered <laughs> Thanks. Um, another dress, next dress. Um, it's like kind of a gold, shimmery kind of dress. Just again, really basic. Two pound. Is it is it damask or damask or whatever? How do you want to pronounce it? That print. Is that what that is? Um, is that the official term for it? Let me know because I think it is. I think I did some research before, and I think that's what that is. Um, but I can't quite remember. Uh, then click. <laughs> picked up this dress it's by the club l um so i don't pick up this brand but ever but i just quite liked how it was long red golden uh, not gold silver sort of glitter all the way down it um with like a slit on the front of it as well i just quite liked it and for two pound i thought i'd give it a go i think i just need to stop um discriminating against brands <laughs> i think i'm starting to Rather than going always just for like high end brands, as much as it would be great to have high end brands all the time, um, I think I need to also sort of diversify um, into brands that aren't so fancy, fancy, and will get me fifty pound an item. I think I just need to sort of churn out some lower priced items as well. That's kind of what I'm going for anyway. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, Hi, lobster. Hope you're well. I will love all from the motherland. <laughs> you quite like that. Georgina, it's yours. You can have it. You can have it. I'll give it to you in Manchester. <laughs> uh, but then picked up this dress. This wasn't the £2 place. I don't know how this one got into it. Uh, £2.50, it was in a reduced thing. I don't tend to go for the, the mainstream sale, uh, the mainstream racks anymore. I'm all for the sale rack. Walk into a charge shop, you haven't got a sale rack, I'll walk straight back out again. Not quite, but you know. Um, but yeah, it's from Quiz. I don't think I said that, did I? I just looked at it myself. It's from Quiz. It's a size 10, um, and it's just like a just a basic sparkly, glittery, um, not glittery, sorry, sequin dress. It's very, very party. Why is this focus? Thank you. Very party. It's got like a really big um open back with long sleeves yeah two pound fifty sort of give it a go it's very kind of new year's time but um 
yeah, but I thought it would still go. Um, I'm not coming to Manchester now. Forgot I'm already going away. Essex meetup, you'll be that miles away. Miles away. Um, next dress, size 10. Um, again, just wanted something plain and simple. I quite liked it. Um, just blue shift dress with like this kind of grey floral print all over. Nothing fancy, really basic, but it will do. Now, this dress, this was kind of like my little my little gold mine. This was in that two pound shop, uh, LK Bennett dress. Um, it's technically got the tags, but I'm not classing it as tags because that is one dirty label, and there are a few, um, a few mark, a few um, damages to it. So it's just a plain basic dress. The only issue is that it's a size six. Um, obviously, there's no issues with size sixes, but it can just be a bit of a pain to try and sell. And then obviously it's not as popular and they're an absolute bugger to try and get on my mannequin as well. Um, but it's this absolutely lovely, woo, lovely dress. Um, what is this um, type of material though? I know it has a name, but it's where it's kind of like, it's flat, but then it kind of has these like velvety risen parts. I feel like there's a name for it and I can't think what that name is. Um, so if anyone, anyone knows that name, let me know what that name is. Um, but it's kind of, it's just a really pretty dress um but the only slight issue that it has which isn't a problem because i'll get chris on the case because he he likes to do my sewing for me um well i don't know if he likes to but he does it anyway um it needs rehemming uh, because that's come off and also um the bit at the back that is supposed to be oh god this is awful to try and show you on this but it's supposed to be um down to here so it's kind of been split. Um, all broidery anglaise. <laughs> devoir. See. Uh, oh, devoir, yeah. I'm going to have to have a look into that. See, damask, I think damask is that print that I was trying to show earlier. I think that's that kind of like, you know, like that old lady wallpaper kind of print i think that's that's that um but yeah devoir sounds i think that's how you pronounce it anyway sounds like it but i have a feeling it's some like some fancy schmancy word i don't know i don't know soft feely squishy squishy exactly so it's all all that um hi no money g um i think Stu up there said about some about velour um, I think that's the that feely one, but I'm just meant how it's raised. It's quite it's, it's just like that flat material. So the bit, the bit behind it is flat. This sort of sort of grey bit, and then the black bit is then raised and on the law. So yeah, two pound, not bad. Burnished. And now I feel like I need to write these down. I'm officially going to write them down. Devil. Burnished and what else? Whatever else the answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna just write down whatever you've said to try and even figure out that is. Cool. There you go, Lee saying devoir. devoir. Is it devoir or devoir? Don't know. Don't know. But yeah, I've written them down so I can at least try and figure out what. In the world you're all on about but thank you very much for that appreciate it um then picked up a roman dress picked that up for two pound fifty nice sale rack item i just like roman um i don't think i think i've got another like three or four roman dresses um just a really long dress again got that uh, asymmetric hem um size 12 but really sort of simple but it's kind of like you can dress it up for a wedding or something like that, or it could just be a casual beach wear or something. Devore. 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 <laughs> is, that, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, £2.50 for that dress. Um, uh yes that's what i was trying to remember too i was thinking burnt see that I've, i just feel like there is there is something um 
I feel like both of them are right in a, in a different way. I don't know. I, I will have a look into it and I shall I shall post it on my Instagram page. Um, white stuff dress, £3.50. Nothing fancy, just a simple uh, sort of like a T-shirt style dress. It's kind of like T-shirt material. It's really short though. Um, that's really good. Thanks, Chair. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's like it's almost just like a t-shirt. I must feel like it is a t-shirt. <laughs> is it just a long t-shirt? Because that is just that goes down to just oh, it's like that blew up in the wind. <laughs> I feel like that's just a really long t-shirt. I don't know. Uh, yeah, three pound fifty for that one. We'll see how it looks on a mannequin as well. I don't know. Um. It's a tunic, could be a tunic. Could be. Might, yeah, it might just be a really long t-shirty kind of thing, might it? Or a tunic, as you say. Possibly. Um, then got this Roman dress for four pounds. Um I ooh. this chair is gonna be the bane of my life today. Hi Brum reseller. Um picked it up for four pounds. I have sold this dress or extremely similar in the past. Um, and actually, that kind of felt like the theme of today, because there was a few dresses today that actually I've picked up, or at least I saw today, um, that I've sold previously, which either, enabled me to, me, which either enabled me to pick them up or avoid them um, based on the prices that I sold them for or prices that they were in the charity shops. So this one I have sold before. Um, I really can't remember how much I sold it for. Um, however, um, I forgot what I was going to say. However, I think it was a long time ago that I sold this. Um, so careful with the can oh, the candle's miles away, but thank you. Yeah, it is miles away. Um, yeah, but it was a while ago that I sold this, so um, I can't even like go back to it and sort of sell similar or anything like that. So that's pretty it's pretty annoying. Um, <laughs> right, one day I'm gonna try and pick up Planet and Roman. Pla uh, Roman, I absolutely love Planet. Uh, kind of a bit like here or there i pick it up if as like i said if it's fancy looking then i pick it up but not so much but roman i really love roman um but yeah so this one really pretty it's got this kind of like ribbed kind of section here you know what i'm just gonna like put it there there we go um but when i took it to the tilt i didn't realize that it had the tag still on it so i was really happy with that um, but usually the Roman tags, the brand, when they're brand new, are in the armpit. However, they're not there. So it's technically not got its original tags for sort of Roman itself. But it has got the original tag where it says, if you remove this tag, then you don't get your money back kind of thing. Hi, Cali Picker. Good afternoon from me. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great day too. Um... So yeah, picked that up for four pound. Could probably get about with it being brand new. I could probably get about thirty pound, maybe um, something like that. I think. Okay. Oh god. Now with this one as well is a, another dress that I've sold before. Again, I think I sold it quite a while ago. Um, and it is a closet dress. I used to love picking up closet, but either it doesn't sell so well for me anymore, or the ones that I keep seeing are really highly priced. But this is three ninety nine. Uh, I looked on my spreadsheet and I picked up this one before for six ninety nine. So that's not too bad. I'm saying that I can't. I should have checked on Etsy how much I sold it for before. Um, but yeah, I thought it's quite nice. Um, like I said, I've sold it before. I know it does well for me. Um, so that's why I picked it up um another roman dress <laughs> i picked this one up for four pound 49 nearly done by the way just to let you know um four pound 49 i thought it was quite summery quite pretty and um, it's a size 18 again the same as the other roman dress um but this one's not brand new there's no tags on it or anything um so yeah but it's kind of got these weird gemstone things they're a bit ugly um, and I don't know how they'd feel going past your arm. I don't know. Um, but I literally picked it up in the shop earlier and I stared at it for such a long time 
to check that all them gemstones were there, or the, or the beads, wherever they are. Um, because if it's like a sequin or something and a sequin's gone missing, it's not that easy, it's not that hard to uh, to tell that it's gone missing. So it doesn't look so bad, but if like one of them had gone missing, it'd be blatantly obvious and it'd look ridiculous. So yeah, I made sure that they were all there. So yeah, £4.49, again, probably get about £25-ish pound for that one, I think. Um, I used to do really well with closet, but not so much anymore since around. Yeah, that's how I'm finding. I do have a few closet ones on there. They only really go, go um, what am I going to say? They only really go well if they're cheap, I think, um, or really different, you know, really sort of like fancier ones, you know. Um, I don't even know where I've gone. It's kind of all thrown over. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've gone everywhere. Um, then I've got this French Connection dress, picked up for three ninety nine. Um, not a massive, massive fan of it to be honest. I'm not entirely sure why I picked it up, but I haven't picked up French Connection in a while. Again, I feel like that's the same kind of thing where I pick it up. I used to pick it up initially when I started reselling because French Connection was like, oh my god, that's so amazing, such a high class brand. And then after a while, you realise that it's not that great. Um, so yeah it's just a plain sort of jersey dress with um birds on it so there you go <laughs> the only closet i know is the one i came out of true story is that a true story andrew you got something to tell us uh so yeah 3.99 no idea probably about 20 odd quid something i don't know i don't know Okay, last dress, and then I've only got like two or three more items, so that's not a problem. Um, go back. I'm confused. I'm confused. Kent, you said go back, and I'm lost. Are you talking to me? You need to show, asking you to show. So I'm just trying to do something at the same time <laughs> oh dear what is going on okay there we go that's sorted oh andrew needs to go back okay that's fine that's fine not a problem i'll go back in the car oh i see what you mean i'm pretty slow i'm being pretty slow oh dear okay so final dress is this one here now again i don't pick up lipsy oh bit of fluff. Ugh, that's lovely uh don't pick up lipsy at all anymore really um however this one is a michelle keegan one which do do does do a little bit better now um now that doesn't make sense it does do a little bit better than standard lipsy um it was 3.99 um, but as well, I just like the style of it. I think these sort of fancier looking ones do a little bit better. Um, so yeah, there you go, three ninety nine. Uh, and then probably sell it for about twenty five quid, I think, something like that, maybe something like that. Okay. So then they've got three more items which are no longer actual, like. They are still clothing items, bearing in mind, but they're no actual um, dresses or anything like that. Where's my YouTube chat gone? There we go. Thank you very much, DPG. Um, <laughs> super stunner. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I bought more ties. I haven't even sold the ties or, no, I haven't even listed or photographed the ties that I picked up before. But my dad saw these today and I couldn't say no. I mean, look how cute that is. Little penguin tie. Um, it's originally, originally, it's actually a TM Lewin tie. Picked up for £1.49. I don't usually sell, uh, I don't usually buy ties for that much. I don't usually spend more than a pound, but it's an extra good to be and it's cute. Um, so, yeah. And it's uh, pure silk as well. All silk. Um, TM Lewin. So that's not too bad. So, got that one. Um, I just saw somebody who popped in. There we go, Damien. Hello, Damien. 
uh, had a decent haul today. Uh, ton of listening to do tomorrow. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and then I also bought this tie here. Oh my god, it's a cute little doggy one. That's so cute. Um, and it's just by the tie rack. So 99p for that one. All silk again. Um, so yeah, that was cute. And then finally, this is also from that two pound shop. Um, are these LK Bennett shoes? Um, they're in fairly decent condition. They've got a bit of um, wear on the front, but the bottoms of them aren't too bad. Um, they just need a bit more of a clean rather than anything. Um, obviously, they are worn. Don't get me wrong, but they're not like you know when they're just that worn that you can almost see they're like the wood bit underneath. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but the real leather as well. So all this is all real leather um however whoever had this stuck in before um kind of actually looks like the original label because it says on their plum red but whoever tried to peel that out before is now it's tried to peel out the um the inside of it so i might have to just get like a bit of um acetate acetate acetone money or something like that um it's a 40, which I think is a six and a half. Um, so, yeah, I thought they were quite nice, quite swanky. Um, not bad for two pound. I don't know how much to sell them for, if anybody knows any idea um, for these. Um, then, yeah, but I'm thinking about 20, 30 pound if they scroll up nice, maybe. Don't know. But yeah, so that's it. That's it. That is that is that done. Um, my wife has them heels. Does she want some more? Have her feet changed size that she needs bigger or smaller shoes? <laughs> um, TM is a good good brand. Turn Turnbull and Asset is harder to find. Um, I don't do that well with TM living shirts or anything though. To be fair, they don't. They're not that bad, but they don't do like amazingly well. That I pick them up instantly. Um, right, just going to catch up on the chat. Uh, bought a pair of Clark's Women's size nine today, almost new. Fantastic. Size nine, and it seems quite hard to find um, in the store straight away. Uh, LK Bennett comps are all over the place. Yeah. You know what, though? I actually hardly even look at the comps anymore unless i know unless i've never seen the brand before i'll have a quick glance at the glimpse at the comps uh, to see what's going on but most of the time now i don't even look um when i'm doing my listing i'm just like yeah i'm happy with 20 quid for that <laughs> which is actually a bit of an issue because when i'm listing i'll, I'll go back to my um my items when i look on my active listings and stuff I then look and I go, you know what? 20 quid for that dress is a bargain. And then I, then I change my prices up. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just can't I just can't be bothered to look at comps every single time. I mean, obviously there are some items that I can kind of just ballpark a figure. I kind of know what it will get me and know what I can get for it and stuff like that. Um, so I just kind of know how much I'm going to type it, uh, you know, how much I'm going to type in for the price. But if i don't know i just can't be bothered i just kind of go yeah i'm happy with that <laughs> you know that's all i do um yeah georgina she's got lazy comps um i can't look at comps and charity shops just can't bring myself to do it see I, I look at comps and charity shops i don't really care um i just i just i don't know i just don't i don't like to do it mainly because i can't be bothered <laughs> i think that's the main reason i usually can't be bothered to um to do them to be honest um but um yeah no, i have no issues with going into the charge shops and looking at comps if they tell me to go away then i'll go away and i'm just like well sod you then um i'm still not 100 percent confident in telling people that i'm a reseller um some people if i'm looking to go to a charge shop and actually using them as like a um a source from where i actually get most of my stock from yeah. then i would obviously go and talk to them but um you know, if, I, if that's not my intention, then, you know, like someone to say, oh, you fix up some nice dresses. I hope you're going out somewhere nice soon. Like, yeah, me too. You know, you do that whole like awkward chat kind of thing. Um, hi, Mandy Moo. Hi, Louise. Enjoyed seeing this haul. Some really nice clothes. I wish I could get their dresses that cheap. They're mainly between seven uh, to ten by me in South Birmingham. 
whereabouts in South Birmingham are you? Um, there are a couple of places that I've gone to um, that are kind of like my standard ones. They're kind of not fully South Birmingham, South East Birmingham more, um, where I find some really good stuff. Um, it depends on how, you, how well you can get um, to places as well. Like Brumry still is in Hall Green. Now Hall Green, like you can probably get some decent stuff in Hall Green, I'd say. Um, but it's kind of just, it's run down high streets and finding like Birmingham is fantastic because there's so many like run down high streets. That is where you go. That is where you need to go. Like I went to, um, for those people who know Birmingham, I went North Birmingham um, into Sutton Coalfield and um, and Four Oaks and things like that above there. And they're just so expensive. Everything's so expensive and I just don't do well there. Those sort of like run down high streets um, or the ones that you just don't, you just don't expect fancy clothes to be at you know that's where you find some really uh, decent stuff you're close to king's heath king's heath high street is awesome um i've king's heath high street is one of my uh, ones i go to a lot um so you should be able to do quite well there um some of them are ridiculous there i know that um which ones are on King's Heath High Street? I know they've got like a PDSA down the bottom end, um, but which ones? There are some. There are some really decent ones. I think they've got some really cheap uh, places in King's Heath though. So just keep having a look, and because sometimes as well you can go into a shop and it's not always um, a decent price. You know that doesn't mean that that charity shop is complete rubbish, but um, just. Um, just keep going and just having a look and uh, you know if, if that's your local you know maybe talk to them a bit more and uh, see what they can do um they used to be me being in uh, they are used to me i can't read today they used to me being constantly on my phone in charity shops around here now that's it once i get to know yeah they'll just they'll just accept it they'll just accept it um there's 17 in shirley now shirley again shirley i go to quite often um and Shirley can be a bit hit and miss as well. Shirley's one of them, like, if anybody says, oh, I'm from Shirley, it's usually like they try and pretend to be a bit more posh. Um, but it is a fair bit run down. Um, again, there's some there's some really good places there and there's some not so great places there. Um, you need to take a close look. Rubri is good. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never been to Rubri. That's one place I haven't been to. Um, it's too far for me now to go there, really. But yeah, really have a good look and have a good look in places. Um, everywhere does a good deal, but not all the time, if that makes sense. So maybe one week is rubbish and one week um, might be better. OK, so that is my haul done. If there are any questions, do put them in the chat. I'm happy to answer some questions. However, it has nearly been an hour. So that is like super awesome timing. Um, this is probably going to be the time that I will do it each week at eight o'clock. Um, eight o'clock works well uh, for me. Um, obviously, as you know, Ads is on at quarter to seven and then he runs then until about eight ish. He sometimes runs over. But if I tell him that I'm on at eight, he makes him stop rambling. So um, eight works best for me as well anyway. So um, like I said, I go sourcing every Thursday. So I go out and that's why I thought I'd do it on a Thursday to show you what I've bought. Um, and uh, and yeah, whether it's rubbish or whether it's not i'll show you what i bought anyway and obviously if you've got any hints and tips for me to say don't bother buying that brand again or that's an awesome brand buy it again I don't know, whatever so i really appreciate everyone's feedback today um thank you georgina um a nice holloways thanks for sharing hope all goes well for you thank you very much david i uh, hope you well as well david thank you um thank you very much liam so yeah i spent or oh, didn't even tell you that did i <laughs> How much did I spend today? I have spent, I bought 30 items in total and I spent 91 pounds and 91 pence. Um, average of three pound and six pence per item. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm really happy with that. I like to sort of be around sort of two, three pound per item. Um, so yeah, and yeah, so 91 pounds in total for that. 
Um, I suppose that's better for what we wanted to spend last week. I spent uh, £16.45 last week on those three items. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit better than £16. So, uh, yeah, also, though, I will be doing a Thai video soon. Um, I haven't been feeling great over the past couple of days um, and just couldn't be bothered to actually, like, get myself going and bothered to, like, do my hair and you know, look like some decent person rather than a zombie. Um, so I was going to um, do a really short video on how I photograph ties, how I list them, um, and how I package them like for storage and also package them to go out selling. Um, selling? To go out, you know, to post to the person who's bought. Um, so, <laughs> yes. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, yeah, so there will be a video soon to show how I uh, photograph ties because I have had that question in my Facebook group. Um, and then I was also going to do the same thing with hats as well at some point um, after that. So I'll be putting out those two videos. So if there's any anything else specifically that you want me to do a video on, say this is how I photograph this particular item or whatever, um, then... Um, then yeah, just let me know. But obviously, other ones are pretty straightforward. Um, I suppose shoes are a bit different, but I'm not the expert with shoes. Um, Lee is the expert with shoes that I know. <laughs> so, um, who's that cola flipper in the chat? Um, so yeah, but yeah, dresses and trousers and stuff like that is a uh, it's pretty standard uh, for those people who um, who know how to sell or to sell clothing anyway um uk reseller very generic name but hello <laughs> question would i have to register as a business seller on ebay if i'm located in northern ireland and buying stuff to resell yes um so i think andrew um answer here if you're reselling in the uk you should be registered as a business seller there's no exceptions to that there we go um oh my god she remembered a, a subscriber's name what's going on that's because he messages me a lot <laughs> I want to get him making feel guilty because he felt guilty yesterday. Um, uh, I have 150 pairs of shoes to photograph and this. Oh my God, I have one. <laughs> do you want this one as well? Might as well. Might as well do it for me. Thanks. Why are you there? Why are you there? Um, I thought there were rules about displaying contact info. Um, yeah, you need to, If like Andrew said, if you're in the UK, uh, you should be registered as a business seller. Um, and yeah, this, it, you just have to be. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, and um, I'll let the Northern Irish really sell out while I watch on YouTube. No, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, as um, DBG said, she's in the Republic and she's a business seller as well. She's like proper foreign, she is. <laughs> um okay so that is that thank you very much everyone for watching and um thank you for any questions um that you've put in the chat and any advice you've given and any help you've given to others and to me and etc etc thanks for watching me uh try on coats don't know <laughs> everyone remember if you don't register with hmrc and pay taxes andrew doesn't get a salary exactly exactly proper foreign <laughs> yeah you have like different currency and stuff proper foreign um so yeah anyway thank you very much everyone uh for joining hope you all have a good evening hope the hours are going well and yes i will i was going to post something on my instagram wasn't i i don't even know how that was going to be now no idea no idea can't remember don't know anyway thank you very much everyone have a good evening and i will see you soon bye all